What is up, everybody? Back with a new video here today. And with this one, I'm going to be talking about my hypothetical dream set list for this upcoming Megadeth tour. Now, the way I'm going to do it is 21 total songs, 20 in the regular set, and then one encore song. I know they're not going to play that many, but just for the sake of the video, we're going to pretend they're going to play 21 songs. Now, these aren't going to be necessarily my 20 favorite songs by them, but you know, 20 or 21, I would think would be really cool to see them play. And I think Pete from Sea of Tranquility was actually doing this as like one of his monthly things a year or so ago. So go check out some of his dream set list things. He didn't do Megadeth, unfortunately, but I'm going to cover them here real quick. And I'm going to go in chronological order with this. But uh, yeah, so starting off, I've got Last Rites, Love to Death. I think that would be a really cool song to open it up, regardless if I'm putting this stuff in chronological order or not, because... I mean, that is their first song on the first album, Killing Is My Business. And the way the piano starts off, I think that sounds super badass. So at that point, the lights are going to go down. Um, you know, the piano is going to come on over the intercom. And then when it hits the riff, it's when they come running on the stage, the lights come on, the curtain drops. I think that'd be a super cool opening to the concert. Uh, after that, I'm going to keep it with Killing Is My Business. Got Mechanics, a uh, great song. Of course, it's like a variation version of The Four Horsemen. Uh, both songs are great. I do prefer uh, Mechanics a little bit. You know, it's faster, it's more aggressive. Uh, both written by Dave Mustaine, so it's whatever. You can like whichever one better you want. But Mechanics for me, and I think it'd be cool to see live. Number three, third song of the set, I got Devil's Island. Uh, fourth song will be Good Morning Black Friday, and then My Last Word. So three in a row from Peace Cells. Love all these songs. Um, haven't seen them play any of them. I know that they've been playing My Last Words kind of recently, I believe. Brought it back to the set. But uh, Devil's Island and Good Morning Black Friday especially would be super cool to see. Um, next up, I'm going to go to So Far So Good So What with um, Set the World of Fire and Hook and Mouth. Both amazing songs. Set the World of Fire has just a shitload of great riffs. The main one is one of the best, best Megadeth riffs of all time. And of course, Hook and Mouth. Last song on the album, that one, uh, super cool, very progressive, a lot of technical, uh, technical guitar work as usual. The bass sounds amazing, just super cool song in general. Um, then uh, after that, I'm jumping up to Rust in Peace, and for me, my hypothetical dream set list concert here, I've got Marty Friedman joining the band. He's going to be a surprise guest for all of the stuff he was on, so all the 90s songs, Marty comes out to play him with them, and they're going to start off with Hangar 18, which is some of his best work with, with Megadeth. Just his solos all over the song are insane, mind-blowing, technical, guitar god, uh, shred type of stuff. So Hangar 18, and that was the eighth song. And then after that, they're going to play Take No Prisoners, which is amazing, very fast, heavy, aggressive song from Rust in Peace. Then from there, they're going to go to uh, Go to Hell, which originally came out in 1991 on the Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey soundtrack. Then it was later on uh, Hidden Treasures in 95. But Go to Hell, always been one of my favorite songs, super underrated. Uh, some people overlook it because it's not on an official studio album, but it is definitely one of their best songs. So they're going to play that. Then they're going to go to some countdown stuff with um, Architecture of Aggression, really great underrated song. Love the opening, kind of builds up. There's some bullets firing, um, and then it breaks into that riff, which is super heavy and amazing. Then they're also going to play Ashes in Your Mouth, the final song on Countdown, which is my favorite song from that whole album. And I know I'm leaving off some uh, kind of bigger songs, but, you know, they've played those a million times. want to mix in some of these songs that don't get into the rotation as much. Uh, after that, they're going to play 99 Ways to Die, which originally came out in 1993 on this Beavis and Butthead compilation album, and then it was also on Hidden Treasures in 95. But that is a super great song as well. Love the flow. Love Dave's voice on it. He sounds... Uh, like it's one of uh, his best vocal periods there, like 93, 94. Uh, I think his voice sounds great. And just the vocal melody and the way the song flows, the riff, the solo, it's all great. Number 14 I'm at now. So the 14th song is going to be The Killing Road, which is my favorite song from Euthanasia. I um, think it's got a great opening riff. And overall, again, the chorus is really catchy and it's just a really great song. Number 15, got The Disintegrators, which is not my favorite song from... Uh, from the 97 album, which it was escaping me there for a minute, but uh, Cryptic Writings, you know, She Wolf's great. I've seen them play it already. They play it live all the time. So instead of that song, I want the Disintegrators. think it's a pretty fast upbeat one. I uh, think it's just a cool underrated song. So it'd be pretty awesome to see them play that. And then from there, uh, Marty's going to leave. That's the last song he's playing with them for now. 
And then they're going to go to Dread and the Fugitive Mind, which was originally on the Capital Punishment album in 2000, and then also on The World Needs a Hero in 2001 after that. But great song. Um, it's really one of my favorites by them of all time. And that's pretty much Al Petrelli's shining moment in Megadeth, I'd say. That solo is just absolutely sick. Number uh, 17 I'm at now, Black Mel the Universe from The System Has Failed. Great song, a lot of great riffs, and that album overall is pretty good. And that is my favorite song from it. And then from there, I'm going to go to um, uh, United Abominations for a couple songs. Love the album. It's one of my favorites. So I got Washington is Next, which I previously listed a top 10 Megadeth song. They got to play that for me. And Years of War, super heavy one from that album as well. And then uh, This Day We Fight from Endgame, which is just one of their fastest, heaviest, most brutal and aggressive songs of all time. Then the lights are off, they walk off the stage, but then they come back for Holy Wars, of course. Marty comes back to play that last song with them, and that is the hypothetical for me, my dream set list as of now. Uh, pretty fun to go through and, you know, do this. Uh, they've got a ton of amazing songs, over 150 songs total, so very tough to just pick 20. And I want everybody else watching this video, give me your hypothetical dream set list for Megadeth, 20, 21 songs. Uh, let me know what you thought about mine, and until next time, thank you all for watching.